Welcome to the channel, it's Jansen here back with another brand new Amazon FBA tutorial video. Now this week I am going to be talking about the essential Chrome extensions that you need if you want to make sure you're doing your product research as effectively and as efficiently as possible. All of these extensions are completely free, so there's absolutely no excuse for not having them. So let's quickly walk through them together now, and I'll explain how to use them and why you need to get them. So the first extension that we're going to be looking at together is one called Source Now. This is an extension that's owned by Alibaba, which is the website that we're going to be using when looking for suppliers of our products. What it does in a nutshell is it allows you to find suppliers of the product that you're looking to sell just by taking a snapshot or a photograph of the product on Amazon. So let me show you how to use it quickly now. We'll just flip to Amazon and let's say that we're looking at a yoga mat for example. Now this is really useful if you come across a product that you like the look of but you can't find it on Alibaba either because you're not using the right keyword or maybe there just aren't that many suppliers. So this method you simply search for the product that you want to sell on Amazon, let's say this one, you come up to the Chrome extension here, you let it load and then you just simply press capture image then you move your mouse over to where the main picture is. You literally do this, so just highlighting what the product is. Let go, press capture, and then watch this. It's gonna load Alibaba up, and hopefully it will load the actual product in Alibaba. And then look at that, boom, how easy was that? We didn't have to type anything. We didn't have to worry about what keyword we were gonna be typing into Alibaba. We've just pressed the uh, magic button on the Chrome extension and it's pulled it up into Alibaba. So now we can see all of the suppliers of this product. It's as easy as one, two, three. You just click into it now and you can contact the supplier of that product to find out how much it is and how you can start to sell it. So this Chrome extension is completely free and honestly it saved me so much time and in actual fact there have been a couple of occasions where I found a product that I want to sell and through I don't know whatever reason I just typed it into Alibaba I couldn't find it and I thought well maybe the supplier isn't actually on Alibaba then I thought hang on I'll use this extension I've used it and it's found the supplier for me. So make sure you get this guys, it's a real time saver and it could really help you if you can't find the product on Alibaba just by using search terms. The next extension that I like to use is one from a company called Review Meta. And what it does is it looks at the reviews on a product listing and tells you how many of them are fake or are suspicious. Now this is actually really helpful whether you're a buyer or a seller on Amazon. Um, it's helpful if you're a buyer because obviously if you're purchasing something that's got a load of five-star reviews you want to know if those are actually real or not right but more helpfully for us if we're a seller it's great because it tells you if the reviews are suspicious or not and if they are suspicious well that's an indication to us as sellers doing our product research that we don't really want to be looking and analyzing at those reviews to help us with our product researching decisions. So let me just show you how it works. Let's have a look at this one for example, the example I was looking at with the last extension. You just click into it and you can see here it's got a review score of, where is it? It's got a review score a 4.6 and the review meta calculator at the top here is actually saying 4.6. If you want additional detail, all you do is click into it. It will then load the product into its like, calculator and tell you what the adjusted score is. So this one here, you can see that the ratings actually come out at the same as what Amazon gives it. Therefore, I would say if you're doing your product research analysis, you can like look through these reviews and look at the one star and the two stars for ways to improve. And you can also look at the five stars for things that your product absolutely must have. Whereas if we'd have come to this now and, it's, and it had said most of these reviews are fake, well that tells you that just like looking at the five star reviews for like things that your product needs to have is gonna be a bit of a pointless exercise because all the reviews are fake and they're meaningless. The next extension that I highly recommend, and this is actually probably my number one recommended extension, is the Helium 10 Chrome extension. Now, the Chrome extension itself is free. There are a number of features that you do have to pay for, but the free, like, 
features that you get with this extension is just crazy. So let's walk through it together. I would recommend you getting this, whether you use Jungle Scout, AMZ Scout, whoever, because the features that you get for free are so useful, whether you're just looking to launch a product, whether you're doing your product research, or whether you're an existing seller. So let's have a look at it together. Now, as soon as you get the extension and you search for your product niche, you'll notice that above each product, you'll be told like this information here. And what this is, is it's telling you the best seller ranking, i.e. the position of the product in Amazon's charts. So it's a bit like a music chart, the lower the position, the more sales that product is making. And it will also tell you the position in like the specific category chart. So this is helpful because if we wanted to have a look at the listing of the best seller, ignoring this tag here, we would know immediately that this product here has got a best seller ranking of 2,211 and it's number one in its subcategory. We'd know that this one is outselling this one because the best seller ranking here is 60,000 and the subcategory position is 38. So it's like a really quick way of basically identifying which of uh, these products outsell other ones. Um, then in addition to that, let's actually click into one. What you'll also be told is Helium 10's like assessment of the listing. So here you can see we've got a valuation result for this listing in particular, it's saying 10 out of 10. So you can have a look at that in your own time, but basically this is really useful if you're looking at a product niche and if you're looking at different product listings, if all of them said three out of 10 or four out of 10 or whatever, that is immediately like an opportunity for you to be able to differentiate because you know you're gonna be able to improve upon the listing using all the free tips and tricks that are on this YouTube channel. Um, but the main feature that I, I love about this um, free Chrome extension is this down here, this like sales chart. Now, one thing to point out is this information here is free and another Chrome extension called Keeper actually charges for it. So if you're using Keeper, I'd recommend just switching to Helium 10 because you can get it for free. So this graph is helpful for two reasons. The first is it will tell you if the product that you're looking to sell is seasonal or trending, which is something that we really want to be avoiding if we're gonna be doing Amazon FBA. And it will also tell you if like there's a sudden surge in sales or there's a sudden like drop off a cliff of sales, in which case it's probably not a great idea to be like assessing what the sales level is at that moment in time. So let's just analyze this data quickly together. We can see in the last 30 days that the price has been static throughout the entire period, which is helpful to know if you're a buyer, because obviously if you want to buy a product, you want to know if it's like suddenly at a low in a price or a high. And it's also helpful if you're a seller, so if you were looking to sell this product and you saw the price was 20 pounds, well, one thing you would want to know is, has that price just recently been increased? Has it suddenly like been reduced because the seller can't get rid of it? You wanna know like if the price has changed much or not um, for your own like profitability calculations. So that's really helpful. And then in addition to that, let's have a look at the best seller rankings. So if we have a look at the best seller ranking of this product over time, you can see that historically, it's been between like the 1000 to 2000 mark, right? But then you can see here, look at this, at the middle of March, it suddenly dropped off a cliff. Now, we know the reason for that, don't we? It's because of the lockdown, the coronavirus, basically people not allowed to go on holiday anymore. So this is a bit of an extreme example, but let's just say you didn't realize that this product would have been impacted by coronavirus or the lockdown. Well, you might not have like realized that the sales had been really impacted as a result of that without this chart. So if we load this chart, you can see that between 17th of March and like 12th of May, the sales kind of dropped off a cliff for this because the best seller ranking like went sky high. But you can see here, around the time that the lockdown ended, the best seller ranking has started to reduce, which is really informative actually, because it means probably people are now booking their holidays or they're actually going on holiday um, and they're buying these snorkels. So you can see just how useful this information is here at telling you whether a product that you found is in high or low demand and how that demand compares to what the demand has been in the past. And then we can just look at this information again here. So the price, in February, strangely enough, was £29 for a period. 
um, maybe just because the demand had increased quite a lot. And then gradually, I suppose, as like the level of uh, travel reduced because of restrictions being imposed around the world, the seller has reduced the price and reduced the price and reduced the price all the way down to 20 pounds. So let's just say you were doing your product research here when the price was 29 pounds. Well, it, without this tool, you may have looked at your margins and been like, brilliant, this product is 29 pounds, margins are 70%, I'm gonna sell it, I'm gonna order a thousand units and sell them at 29 pounds. But what this tool is telling you is that that didn't really work because they actually had a price of 29 pounds for about a week there. So if we um, look historically, you can actually see that the average price has actually been around 21 pounds. Um, so that's really helpful information, isn't it, when we're trying to work out what our long-term profit margins are likely to be. So if I haven't made myself clear enough already, guys, I would highly recommend getting Helium 10's Chrome extension because it includes so many free features that you actually have to pay for with other providers. And all of those free features are like so informative, whether you're a new seller, whether you're just about to launch, or whether you're an existing seller. So make sure you get that. There are a number of other features within the toolbar that you will have to pay for, um, but I've got a 50% off coupon in the description box below if you do want to try them out. If not, just download the Chrome extension anyway and have a look at all the free stuff that you can get without paying a dime. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video, guys. Those are all the free Chrome extensions that I use pretty much every week. I'd highly recommend getting all of them. If you do have any questions about how to use them, feel free to post in the comment section below. And that is it for this week, guys. Hopefully you've enjoyed this. Please remember to subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed it. And I will see you next time for another Amazon FBA tutorial video.